What's up, what's up? It's your girl, B. Simone, and I will be in New York City October 25th at the Carolines on Broadway, 1626 Broadway, New York. Get your tickets at officialbsimone.com or click the link in my bio on my Instagram. My Instagram is at the B. Simone 2 Please come check out the You're My Boyfriend comedy tour. Bitch, I ran out of breath. Oh, my God. Pull up on me and do the B. Simone tone. Okay. My fucking computer is making noise now. It's 9 o'clock. Leave me alone. Look, pull up on me. Me, Jesse Banks, Darren Brand from Wildin' Out. We gonna be there in New York City. I cannot wait to meet my babies. Word to your mother, son. Sister, sister, it is your sister-in-chief reminding you that Wizzy and I are bringing Zozo Talk to your city. October 28th, New York. Miami, November 17th. Atlanta, December 8th. Sister, don't waste your time. Get your ticket while it's hot. Make sure your bunda is in the place to be. Zozo Talk. See you there, sister. Cheers. Welcome to Horrible Decisions. I want to give a blame to Andrew Schultz. Wait, oh, I was about to say, why are you opening this so smoothly? Because we had a guest that was arriving, and because Andrew took so goddamn motherfucking long, we now had our guest cancel. We're not going to tell you their name. We're going to have that guest back on, but I'm just, yeah, I'm so annoyed. Mandy's mad. I'm so mad because that nigga be on CP time, and he ain't even CP. I told his ass that. Like, come I'm on, just Andrew. kind of excited that like the anger energy you have is not for me today. Yeah, no, it so ain't. I'm it's just doing the best else, I can it. to be in a good fucking mood. Um, if you guys have never heard horrible decisions, we interview people about their kinks. But today, I had a whole outline for this guest, and what I'm going to do is interview my own goddamn co-host. Wait, you going to do what? You ain't tell me that's what we was going to do. Hold the fuck on. I don't know. We just gonna... you ain't even send me this goddamn outline, so I can't even ask you some we're questions. Just gonna, we're just going to roll with this on. shit. Wait, real quick. I know you guys just got a spill of what the show is, but this your girl, Mandy B, a.k.a. Full Nobody cares, nobody cares, nobody cares, nobody cares, nobody cares, nobody cares, nobody cares. A.k.a. Dead Beach. What's up, y'all? What a do, You baby. forgot that, huh? I am not, that's, that hoe is not a part of my AKAs. It's that bitch. Bitch, it's part of my goddamn name for you on my phone. Mandy Mix That's and fine. Then it's your, name, your name in my phone is Wheezy Ho Ass. <laughs> <laughs> that's your, that's Frankly, your... You're, that's not the only person that has Wheezy Ho Ass in their phone. Wheezy Ho Ass, that's um, your name. So I was listening to Good Moms uh, Bad Choices podcast, shout out to them. And they played this game with someone they interviewed, 21 questions. And I had 21 um, topics, and I just want you to say one word when I say them out. The first thing that comes out of your mouth. Oh. Okay? You gonna make me look stupid? Is I'm this not. What this is? We're gonna shoot Because you these... already done compared me to wax, and now I feel like, no, I got some shit for you. First thing to come to mind. I mean, it's gonna be fun. I need y'all to know my mind goes deep, okay? All just right. Just so y'all know. We're gonna start easy. And I, I, don't, I want you to give me one word. Okay. Men. Dick. Women. Pussy. Anal. Orgasm. Blowjobs. Spit. Trump. MAGA. Lesbians. Scissors. Tight jeans. Yeast infection. <laughs> <laughs> Orgies. Sex club. Car sex. Never doing it. <laughs> God damn it. Trades. <laughs> Gays. <laughs> Drag queens. The race, the drag queen race. <laughs> Spit. Blowjobs. <laughs> Pegging. Mandy B, a.k.a. <laughs> Young M.A. I'd fuck. Grinder. Gays. Damn, but, I, I mean, th- what? I mean, what? Grinder. Monogamy. Bullshit. A man in uniform. Cop. <laughs> Blindfolds. What's that word? Stealthing? <laughs> when they fucking remove the fucking condom on my ass? I'm I'm so motherfucking traumatized from blindfolds. You not getting me in no blindfold. Sweat. Disgusting. Feet. Ah! <laughs> yeah. Yo. I think I kind of am getting like into feet, bro. You smiled just now. I did just smile to feet. It's this goddamn podcast. We got to stop this shit. I know. I'm about to end it because if I really put a toe in my pussy. I'm close or, to peeing on somebody. So but, for like my but own But bro, choice. I really gave a lap dance to a toe. And now you see the videos that our listeners are oh, sending yeah, us. Oh, she like washed a foot? I'm not. I don't think I'd wash a foot. But well, I got the last one. Kim Kardashian's butt. I'd eat. 
<laughs> me too. Those, I mean, that was people two words, hate but too, dude. I mean, just so y'all know, real quick, I do know how to count, so I know some of those was more than one word. But I, you know, I had to. No, no, make no, no. I just want like your first thoughts. I like um, that. That was cute. We should probably kind of start. I really the show like. like that. I really loved it. I watched them do it with Van, and it was such a fun like way to like just kind of like see what someone did. I first. did I say like things that you. That like you know no like I kind of thought you would say like like when I said car sex I thought you would say hot or when I like too hot you know I I didn't know the word to say because y'all know like I fuck tall ass niggas and I'm thick so to me car sex automatically actually I should have said uncomfortable like I can't think of car sex where I would enjoy it at this point because they too big I. I gotta be the head my it's just no it's just not really fun so I'm gonna. Make vanilla shit Wheezy's venting session today. Aww, and this is nothing hell. that I planned, but I got to get it out. Aw, hell And y'all. if you don't want to hear anything that has nothing to do with dick, actually, it'll be dick in a minute. But let me just tell you about my day, Mandy, because I've been frustrated. Mm-hmm. I just have to tell you what happened with my job. So I'm going to take my parents. Really quick. I'm really glad that we're, we're bringing this to the forefront, too, because if y'all are watching on YouTube, shout out YouTube. I am sitting here in a fucking cardigan right now, coming straight from work. And I was telling him I wanted to take my goddamn cardigan off before we started because I was like, I'm in a fucking cardigan. And this is about to go on YouTube. And he's like, no, if it's your brand, you know, y'all some working bitches. If it's your brand. Yeah. <laughs> and no, honestly. Like, oh, okay. Kinda. I read something where uh, this girl was like, I pay for Patreon. They couldn't put makeup on. Bro, we Bitch. come straight from work. Wait, we somebody come... said that? Yes. I, I I don't have one eyebrow right now. Like I, I, I don't have on eyebrow. Oh, I don't have eyebrows on. Like, normally I put them on, but bitch, I told you I had a threesome last night, so I like, wasn't going to do that shit. We come straight from work. I come from, I work, then go to the gym, then I walk 40 minutes to get here. I don't have to walk. I just do it by choice. And like, we do you this... like exercising so much. You're so extra. Oh, wow. It's probably asshole. honestly keeping me from being okay with not getting fucked. But anyway, I did get some jig from Jeeves. That's a new story. So let me just tell you about how hard my job is. So I booked this trip to take my parents to Mexico mm-hmm. because I figured, like, let me do something nice for them. I always take them on cruises and I'm like, we're going to do that for Christmas because it's cheap and this is what I can afford. Also, what will be a shit show is that I can only afford to put us in one room. So <laughs> that should be fun. Not only that. Well, real quick. I'm really jealous. And mom, since you listen to the episodes, even though you're not fucking supposed to get your ass a passport and maybe I can take your ass somewhere. So go yeah. ahead. Bro, yeah. the flights were ninety nine dollars from Orlando. For me, it's oh, going to be seven hundred round trip. But Cancun probably with a, a layover in Dallas. When yeah, me and, it's a terrible layover. It's not even nonstop. It's like a twelve. Like, like all the flights I thought about going to Orlando to... first, but I'm like, let me just let this be quick because I want to do Tulum for New Year's. But anyway, so I'm taking them to Mexico. We're gonna stay for a few days, stay for Christmas, and um, I'm just thinking of what people are gonna think when we get there because my mom is black, my dad is white, and he got a walker. And then here's me <laughs> with titties and tattoos. They're gonna be like, Yo, what? Does he pay for them? <laughs> like, what's going on? But um, no, I mean, I needed to spend around like 2000 That was what I could afford. And I had this deal that came in. So let me just tell you what happened today. I sold this huge deal. Okay. So I was like, perfect. I'll buy the trip with that. <sighs> I sell IT services. This is a service called managed security, like managed router services, mm-hmm. right? Which basically has to funnel through a private internet line because if it's not then it's not managed and other people could steal the information so something very interesting about internet in new york Mm -hmm. when you go to another city right you know how you see cable and phone lines in the air we don't see that here right so everything is aerial everywhere else but new york because everything is underground here Mm -hmm. so that means so the customer their building doesn't have fiber Right, mm-hmm. It only has the black cable internet, which is coax, which is the one that everybody shares in the fucking neighborhood that runs slow. Mm-hmm. So to install fiber, to cut the street, you have to, cu- you have to hold. We, my company has to pay to stop the street for a day. They have to cut the street, put the fiber in there, which is glass, then seal the concrete back up, and then the street resumes just for that person to be able to watch Pornhub when their boss is gone. I don't know if that's true. But my point is it's going to cost $120,000 to do this. Uh-huh. I called the customer, and I let them know. And that nigga laughed at me. And he said, you must be out of your goddamn fucking mind. If you think I'm going to spend $120,000 for internet. I said, well, I guess you can run it off your phone because I don't know what to tell you, dude. I honestly am trying. So I called back and I'm like, you know what? I got it down to 85. And he almost called me a bitch and then hung up the phone. And I had this whole deal that was going and I was going to pay for this trip. So now I'm pissed. Not to mention, once I got out of work, there's this nigga that's coming in town this weekend He's an entertainer. He's coming to record some shit in New York. And he and I have been talking back and forth. And then he said to me, after we've been talking to him about flying me there and doing all this stuff, yo, I'm going to be at this spot on Saturday. Come fuck with me. I called him on the phone. I said, excuse me? Like a promoter? You're going to be at this spot? I'm sorry. What? 
Nigga, you coming to my city? You telling me I gotta come see you at the wait? Like that? Like wait, you like out and about? Yeah. I mean, maybe he wants to make sure you're not like. Would, I would say what it is, but I can't because can, niggas can, can I ask you a question? Would Would you feel better if he was like, "I'll be staying here. Come see me at my hotel." What like what you would be okay? You would be Let's more just, okay with him inviting you to it, the hotel? He has to make an appearance somewhere. Let's just say something's basic. Like I don't know where niggas be shown. Say it's a sneaker store. Okay. What if someone was like, yo, I'm going to be at this spot on Saturday. For a meet and greet. Me. Oh, yeah. Excuse nah, me? Bitch. First of all, you've sent me pictures of your penis. You are, <laughs> are you out of your goddamn mind? I said you had all of the fucking nerve. I was on HBO, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> My pussy is elevated. I know that's right. I was so mad, Mandy. So I now what? Are you gonna went. Are you going to fuck him? Oh, hell. No, and he said, "What should I have done?" I said, "You should have sent me the dinner reservations, nigga. Open Ooh, table I know exists. That's the right. fuck are you talking about?" And if you didn't want to talk about that, you could have told me you were gonna Uber me there because me and you were doing something after. You want me to just come kick it? Are you out of your it's fucking so mind? It's so crazy that you. So I didn't plan a rant, um, but I actually. I, wait, real quick. How does red wine and coffee go together? Am I gonna be shitting? I I kind of want anal sex this week. I don't know how how that's gonna go. You know what? It's shouldn't. time for me to like. I need to. I need to let this happen again because after your story, like oh, the it was so good. But I need a whole, <sighs> bitch. It was just so good. Yeah, like I'll that's go, the I'll thing, though, bro. I can't take dick in my ass. So you, so real quick, I want. And now I realize when I did, I think I had Ambien. It went, <laughs> but it didn't win. I have a picture of it, right? Because it only it was it was a lover boy, mm -hmm. and it really wasn't anything. Oh no! It's, but it felt like a whole dick. It's man. to the point now where I'm just like. I just move one butt cheek to the side, and I'm like, I need I'm to ready. get fucked, fucked. I love it. So I want to go on a rant, actually, because why are you talking about? Thanks. Um, I really don't know how this coffee and red wine is gonna go, but while you're talking about your your event and us being on HBO, also if y'all haven't checked, <laughs> we're on HBO. So um, if you guys look up the Me Too documentary, you guys it's can called watch the it Consent on, Doc. The Consent Doc, um, Vice News on HBO. We're on that bitch. Um, so check it out. But this is what I was saying. Um. Because, unfortunately, I have all of these guys from my past, I feel like they still think I can move like I did in my past, where I would drop everything for them. I could hop on a flight whenever. I could just get oh, some yeah, on my yeah. shift. Oh, yeah, yeah, Like, before you was a career hoe? Yeah, like, before I actually had a salary and shit, when I was just like, okay, I'll give up my shift to come sit on your dick. Like, I really let these niggas, like, I gave these niggas power. So, <laughs> clearly, they're all back in my phone now, and I'm literally blocking niggas, cussing them out on some... If you don't respect my time, we can't see each other. Like, not only do I have a job where I have to be there Monday through Friday, we have the podcast. And that comes weekly for you guys. And now we have Patreon. So we're doing six episodes a month that we have to record. Mm. And things, this this is business. This, this is, is a lot of work. This, no, it's a fucking ton of work now. God and damn. And these niggas getting on my nerves, These too. niggas getting on my motherfucking nerves. This, even this other nigga, Chicago. I talked about Chicago. Or it was it Nebraska? One of, one of them cities I named that nigga, but he not even in the picture no more. He wanted to fly me to goddamn Vegas. Come to Vegas. Come for me. Come with me. Nigga, it is, I have work tomorrow, sir. No, I'm sorry. That's not going to happen. People think we only do this, though. And what I, you mean? So I want to nah, get back. People, nah, they know we work, bro. I don't. I, I've met people that don't realize that. You think so? I have. So if y'all are new to listening, just so y'all know, Weezy just went on a rant. Um, she's in tech, and if y'all want to know how boring my job is, I do taxes for private equity funds and hedge funds. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry, I was fucking. Yes, boy, like that's, dog, I hate you so fucking. You ex you ex explaining it dog, really? It's so it is, but it is as it boring sounds, as I mean. It don't sounds, my shit's bro. pretty bad too. The I only mean, thing that's really interesting about it is just like we never think of the shit that needs to happen because it's New York. Like I talked to my finance team, I'm like, y'all got to get this shit together because bitch ain't losing a check. The average construction job for what I do in another city, let's say Orlando, yeah, fifteen hundred bucks. In New York, it ranges from forty five thousand to one hundred and fifty. It's disgusting, because but, you, but even the, the subways. Think about when they shut shit. down; everything is old. Real quick, real quick. Now, can we talk about Dick? Because I don't know. We probably done lost. Oh yeah, I got some Dick. Point. But you got Dick from old uh, old Dick. It was like, so it's good. Not can I tell dick? you one thing that was kind of exciting? And I, like, I, I, I want I I I to the know the if this is fucked but up. I want to know if this from G. So you always talk about twenty four seven. Cause bitch, that dick is. You right, you right. I'll let you live. But Green Eyes was a new nigga that I that I introduced. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but I'm gonna get some new dicks. I'm gonna get some Asian dicks. 
Toe so fucker, let me tell you what happened with Jeeves. It was really interesting. So he came back in town from Germany. I was so excited, right? We had sex. And right immediately after sex, I actually wasn't going to tell this because I thought it was a little too personal, but it ain't like niggas know who he is. He said to me, you know, we hadn't had sex. We haven't seen each other in mm-hmm. two, two or three months. And he said, I've had sex with two other women. They were beautiful. Things were going great. And I couldn't really get it up. And he said, and I was freaking out because I wondered, like, if the only person I could get hard for was you. And he's oh, like, so cute. he said he looked up like erectile dysfunction. He was like, S- I thought something was wrong. And it came up because I was like, yo, I kind of want to take like a pill with you and let's see what happens, you know? Right. Like she orgasms, whatever. Right. And he was like, yeah, like I, he said, I was thinking about it all night. He was like, if you noticed, I didn't drink. Like I was wondering if I'd be able to get it up. And he's like, and I did. And it's just like tripping me out. And I legit was blown up about it. I got his girlfriend. He was like, yeah, the other girl was really pretty. I was like, oh, okay. But, you know, it was interesting to fucking hear that shit because I think for me, I'm having a hard time having sex with new people because it feels like too much work. I feel like I am thinking too much about, oh, my God, you know, am I going to have to explain how dirty I am? What if they don't fuck me like this? And it's like this whole thing that's going in my head where I used to enjoy sex so much more. But with Jeeves, I've had the best sex of my life, the most sex I've ever had, you know, like all the fucking time. And now I'm just worried that it's not going to be as good. And it's like I'm fearful no, of sense. bad sex. So it's, I'd rather have no sex than bad than sex. Than bad sex. Well, that's that's how I am, especially currently now that I'm fucking 24-7. So, and it, he's given me the fucking best sex that I've ever had in my life consistently. I am realizing that it's having a negative effect on like how I even talk to niggas, period. Like, especially, it is it is like, and I've said this before, I, I do, I either want a boyfriend mm-hmm. or you have to let me like peg, you have to be into some real kinky shit. So it's like, literally, that's where the conversations are going. If you're in my phone, do you want me to be your girlfriend? Because then I'm going to act accordingly that that's way. A, that's the thing, like, what? Or are you going to bend over for me, nigga? It's one or the other. Oh, speaking you're of You're my sex, boyfriend or my bender. Which I did one? have sex with a woman, not going into details at all. You ain't got to. About the person. Uh-huh. But I will tell you, I fisted. Oh, wait, you just said you wasn't going to say that on podcast. I wasn't going to say it, but I just don't want to lead into, like, who it was. So, anyway. You fisted. Okay, so talk about fist. Well, I guess, can we make this the kink? Uh, no, I we, got a kink. Oh, you got a kink. So, but, this is you just talking about putting your fist in the pussy. Um. So, it didn't start off that way. How it started off was basically her, her saying, and by the way, a lot of you guys say, what do lesbians mean when they say we're going to fuck each other? I'm going to give you another reminder. Fuck is just the act of sex. Yes. And it doesn't necessarily mean that it's pen and, like, like, um, I'm sorry, dick and pussy or whatever, right? right? It's just whatever the sex is for that person. She's like, I want you to fuck me. Um, and to me, in my mind, fucking is the movement of, like, penetrating, but mm-hmm. it doesn't have to be a dick. Um, like, you could fuck your, fuck my face, right? That's yes, putting it in and out. I do like that. Shit fuck like that. Fuck my throat. So fuck I'm, my mouth. I'm going down on her. Fuck my, no. And mm. I'm using two fingers because I believe you got to kind of start slow. Two fingers is starting off slow. I then don't think I, in pussies you put one. In an asshole, you start with one. Right. In fingers, pussy, I put two. I mean, I mean, pussy, I put two. Yep. Then she asked for more. Then she asked for the pinky. Can I ask you real quick? While she was asking for you to fit, you're now, she, you said pinky. So you're at four fingers. Did anything go through your mind? Like, this bitch want all, like, did you think of anything while she was asking you this? I thought she was just getting more turned on and she wanted, like, the width of a dick. So I okay. thought she wanted me to like spread my fingers because my hand's kind of small. So I thought maybe she wants the width of a dick. So I started like when my fingers were inside of her, I like opened my fingers more and she was tripping. I've never done that. And then finally it was like, put your hand in my pussy. And I was like, mm, that means the thumb. Did you take your <laughs> ring off? You ain't have a ring. No, right? I didn't have rings on. I always wear rings. Um, so now I'm like four fingers in. And then she says, put my hand. And it's like stopping right here, right? I'm just like fucking her with this. And now I'm I'm actually kind of hurting a little bit because here's the pussy hole. And I'm like this. And like she wants my whole hand, but I refuse to put the thumb in there. So now I'm just like at the knuckle. And then she's like, no, everything. And that's when it turned into a fist. So, Wait. Yeah. So what did you Because right do- when I had to put my, my thumb in there, it kept. See, you're making the face that I was making when I was doing it. (laughs) I was legit freaking out. So, like, once the knuckles went in, like, her pussy actually felt... I've never felt pussy that far on my hand, and it felt different, and I was freaking out. So, while doing it, like, I kept... What did it feel like? It felt like I was punching her pussy. I didn't like it at all. Was she moaning? Was she enjoying it? She came crazy hard. Like, my hand was soaked. Like... It's I could smell it all day. It was great. But <sighs> I was really freaking out. Like 
I just did not enjoy doing it. And like that was one of the first times where I've done something in sex that turned the other person on that made me uncomfortable. Like I feel like peeing on a nigga wouldn't turn me on, I, but I would do it if they. Well, but this that, made me feel uncomfortable. Oh, it turned okay. And that, I didn't say that's it. Where, that's where I am with piss. Like the the guy who I peed on, it did absolutely nothing for me, and it's something that I wouldn't ask to do. It's something that didn't turn me on, and I was just like, you a nasty. Like I just wasn't here for it. Yeah, this did. But so yeah, did, like, I was saying, legit uncomfortable, and I didn't want to say anything about it because I didn't know. If I was tripping, I'm like, I need to get over this shit, maybe. I'm trying to think, is there anything else that maybe you've been asked to do while having sex that made you feel uncomfortable? I've said no. Oh, you've just said no? Yeah. Like, I, I can't I thought think... the only thing we would say no to was scat. Aren't you, like, is, what What else did oh, you you're say, say no I to? thought you were saying in my time. Like, no, what I, what I can't think of anything, but this was just something, like, the whole time it was going on, I, I remember I was, like, putting my face down so she wouldn't see my reaction. And I was closing my own eyes because I was freaking out. And her pussy is not even like that. I yeah, I don't know about fisting, bro. Like, but I will say the only hot thing is like feeling her pussy stretch. That was pretty nice. That's um, how I feel like in the booty. Like, But I'll stop at three. I think the most fingers I've ever fit inside a booty hole was three. And that to me, I like. I don't think three fingers in my ass would feel very good. So to me, I feel like there's no way he's enjoying it to where. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Like then I start thinking that like I wouldn't enjoy this. So <laughs> I don't oh, think I'm pleasing. The him. reason I picked this kink of the week is because she. Oh, had are we this, getting into the kink of the week now? She had this foreplay going on, and I'd never done it. But it, maybe I have done it, let's but didn't see. realize. Let's see what lesbian shit you done chose. It's really basic, but I know called, it is because lesbian sex is basic. It's not. It's not, it's not related it to lesbian. That's why I don't like watching. It's it. just called corruption, right? Which is being dishonest and mm. and conducting by those in power, typically involving bribery. Here's a story I got from a corruption fantasy. Every day I recall meeting my girl. You know, when I was introduced to her, she had such a shy and innocent look sitting there in her blue dress. And now that we're in a relationship, she's second to none in sex. An embarrassed, shy girl has turned into a daring and passionate woman. I had no idea she could even be like this. When we go out together and she's behaving so sweet and tender, I remember what she's like in bed. So basically, this nigga loves that she acts like a little good girl, but is a fucking freak in the sheets. And I didn't realize that corrupting someone during sex was a thing. So when we were in the bed, I, I would call it violating. But like, I feel like I corrupt niggas who. So can I tell you just real quick, the fact that you just brought this up, this reminds me of Green Eyes. Green Eyes is so like. He's kind of like wholesome. He wanted to get pegged, right? Oh, no, 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 that, no, no, sorry, no, no. Green Eyes didn't want to get pegged, but his dick is just, his dick is comparable to 24 sevens. He's just not local. But um, he's, when we're talking about like his life and stuff, he's just very chill, very innocent, like, very, like, talks very proper, just very chill. But in bed, I feel like then he's like, you can do whatever you want. Like, and he becomes a different person, like, than he is That's outside of the bedroom. It is so. I but feel the like I'm fucking thing a is devil, you bro. Turning into that person, so I feel like, like I corrupt all these niggas. I mean, so this is how she did it, and then I had to look it up, and that's where I found this. So we got to my place, and like I didn't know why she was doing this voice, and I'm like, wait, she put on a voice for you? She was just like, I started kissing her, and she was like, oh, why do you keep playing like this? Like this is all you thought about all night? You know I don't be fucking girls like that. And I'm like, bitch. see that wouldn't turn me on, bitch. So then she's like, you want me to be bad, don't you? And oh. I was like, so then I'm Here's like, where we going? Yeah, you gonna be bad for me? I was blah, about blah, blah. To say I ain't got time for these. That's why I ain't. But I didn't know where it was going playing. either. Bitches be wanting me to take them on dates and shit. It got <laughs> bitches just play too goddamn much. You really wanted to do this all night, yes, bitch. But that was getting her off. That should be getting my thinking that like I was making her fuck me, and so she was just like, oh my god. Like, cause I told her to like sit on my face and she was like, oh, I can't. And she liked being playful. And actually, here's the funny thing. I want to bring this up. This corruption thing is definitely role play. And this is a reason why we need a safe word that's not no. Mm. Because I'm sure yep. she said no and wanted me to just reciprocate. But it's crazy because we talked about this even with consent. And you said that there's sometimes that you do want the dick and you'll be like, no, stop. Like very playful no's. And so I think that that word because people are into role playing or sometimes we do maybe want a nigga to take that pussy like we kind of probably should think of another word other than no well it's not that i'm talking about specifically like in the act of consenting sex not okay. using no as the safe word 
It, so I want to ask because you this. Because if you're having sex like that, right. right, where someone could be assertive with you. Right. I'm like, no, I don't want you to touch my pussy. Like, maybe I shouldn't say that. Like, I need to say, watermelon, nigga. Okay. Wakanda. You did say Wakanda was going to be your safe word. Yeah. Okay. All right. I see that. That's all I mean. And that's why generally no is never been a safe word. I think. That makes sense. That you makes know? a lot of sense. Um, But I thought the corruption thing was like, I was just like, why does she keep wanting me to do this? And she was like, almost saying shit like, um, stop making me take my panties off. And I was like, did you pull them down? But I mean, I was like, all right. <laughs> you, you got in a, you got well, in the character. We'll, we'll, we'll go with it. We'll you go got in the character. Well, all right. All right. It was just, I think that's okay. Yeah. I do like that. I do like that. I, yeah. Mm. You gonna let me take I mean, that ass? I know you, know, you saying yeah, that. Yeah, I be mean, you know, I, but I get into the point where like the whole corruption thing. Clearly, it's more so when I'm with a guy and he's allowing me to do things that he doesn't let other women do. If we get into the pegging or the the booty play, like the booty play mostly, since I'm the booty bandit, goddamn. Um, That's that, where the booty bandit comes from. Yes, cause yeah, they oh, call okay. me that on my life. Like you bitch. stole it. I be stealing all these booty holes. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but so this is actually where that conversation came from. I have another guy that wants me to peg him, but I've already used my pegger on another guy. I hate that word. So, so you and Prelude, real said quick, that. real quick. So this is the dilemma that I'm in, and maybe y'all can help me. Actually, so he wants to suck it. He wants to suck my pegger before I fuck him with it. <laughs> saying it, bro, it's so weird. <laughs> That's a suck my pegger. <laughs> so, so, but this is the thing. <laughs> Hashtag suck my pegger. <laughs> <laughs> but this is the thing. I've already used this toy on another guy, and I didn't put a condom on the toy. So I feel put like it in the dishwasher. I was thinking of, like, and boiling it. Um, I'm in New York. I don't have a dishwasher, but uh, <laughs> who wants to suck it? <laughs> I'm not gonna tell you the name. I damn, got, you be nosy as fuck. No, I mean out of God the dudes damn. that you're talking to. Yeah, is it the fine nigga you sent me from the sex club? You're not gonna sit here and guess. No, it's not him. It's a new nigga. I'll, I'll tell you. Maybe I'll tell Ooh. you off here. I'll tell you. But he wants to suck it. Because he wants to be dominated. Oh, 1,000%. You got to slap him and with it, so, too. And so in my mind, I'm thinking, I don't know how mentally I'm going to take knowing that he's sucking a toy that I had in another nigga's ass. But then I'm like, technically, we be sucking dick to be in other bitches' pussies I was just going to say, shit. like, you gave somebody that pussy before? And niggas don't be boiling their dicks. So, <laughs> technically, if I boil it, it should... I have sex toy cleaner. I'll, I'll bring it next time. That would be really... Well, I, yeah, because, yeah, I didn't see him this... Yeah, that'll work. That'll yeah, work. seriously. Like, I mean, I, I only keep it because I was I used to wash it with other stuff, and I was like, maybe this isn't good. Now, let me ask you this, because this has happened to me before, and I did feel odd. So, there was a guy before. This was, oh, my God, maybe like 2010 when I lived in Miami. Um, he did make me squirt, so it was amazing. So I got past all of the germs that I was thinking, but he used toys on me. And I immediately was like, nigga, these is toys that you use on bitches. Like, how many other bitches have you used asked, toys on? What are your thoughts on, like, When I went on Mouse's using, show, you know? Wax talked about bringing, like, vibrators and stimulators. He's like, oh, I buy new ones. And I was like, no, no you, don't. you don't. Niggas ain't but, buying new ones but he every might, time. He said he leaves them Niggas be lying. He so, just don't want to seem like a, like. I'm going to keep lying. it real with you. I've had sex with two doms, and when you go to a dom's house, they have the treasure chest Every, shit. Right, right. Right? So here's the thing. I've used the sex tape on Jeeves, and he's used it on me, and I sex also is, used it is different, I on the like. girl I fucked. Yeah, but sex tape is different. It's not being inserted into them. That's what I was going to say. So I think we have a weird thing about like genitalia, right? That's what but, it is. Because even the prostate kit, I want to use that, the one that we got from Adam and Eve. And I'm like, ooh, I stuck about three of these already in another nigga booty. So I got to boil all this shit. But I'm like, can I just be sticking all my toys in these niggas' asses and there's di they're different Honestly, asses? they're not bringing it up, unless he brings a new quote-unquote no, pegger, I would just say, I would just be, think it's safe to assume that he thinks that you're cleaning you're cleaning off, them. I feel really kind of shaded with the air quotes around Pegger. It's There's not what it's wrong called. With Pegger. I, I think it's a fine name. A strap on, okay? But the Pegger sounds cute. I like it. <laughs> like booty hole. I prefer to say booty hole and not butt hole because booty hole makes us think like it's a little cute booty hole. You don't think booty holes is cute? I think booty hole is so. <laughs> I th hole. You know what I think of when I hear the word booty hole? <laughs> what? Tiffany Haddish in Girls Trip. You were you were thinking <laughs> that? Yo, booty hole. <laughs> But booty hole, it makes, like, I think it's, like, a cute booty hole. Like, you can say, but butthole. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that no, little booty hole. Look at that little booty hole. Booty hole make, like, You got to get, cute. like, a small pet and call it that. 
get, get what? I'm not gonna call booty my hole. pet booty hole. <laughs> <laughs> Just calling it over. I'm not getting a pet calling it booty I'm hole. I'm gonna get you, yo, for Christmas. I'm gonna get you. you know Actually, what? your birthday's on Thursday. I'm gonna get you two fishes. You booty know hole. what? Real quick, <laughs> because y'all know, um, I'm black and black and speak only English, and not even good english but um if all of y'all or not all of y'all if y'all that listening is from another country can y'all like send me how you say booty hole in your language so maybe i could find a cute other way to say booty your hole. Arsehole. like you know how like french niggas could say some shit and just sounds like you because it's up as it's own you know let me look so if y'all send me a word asshole no and... booty hole i want booty hole in another booty is a <laughs> slang term already in its own though a booty is a slang booty is a slang booty slang Oh, I got it. What? Kuna. I don't like that one. Okay, well, that's asshole. Kuna. No, wait, see, but then when I say it Oh, in that another... could be asshole like a diss. Yeah, I want... Butthole. Butthole. Look up butthole in another language. Ooh. Ooh. It's three letters. I mean, three words. <laughs> that's not cute. Trou du cute. Trou du cute. You'll call yeah, her right yeah. now. Can we get her on the mic and say booty hole in her language? We can't say booty hole? We're not going to talk about you cheating, nigga. Bring your ass. <laughs> <laughs> Just hand the phone so we can get you off the camera. Just hand the phone over. She better answer. Hold you on, ain't I'm got doing... no pool. She got it. Okay. I'm doing it in Spanish, too. Okay. That's all right. We'll take a congested well, how booty say, hole. How you say? Agujero trasero. Say, Agujero trasero. Can you say a booty hole? Put it on speaker. Get, put Hold it on wait, speaker. We just need it in a second. Yeah, real, real quick. Say booty hole in French, please. Can you say it for us? We just need to know how it sounds. That's all. Google's not doing too well. <laughs> oh, like booty hole, like butthole. <laughs> oh, okay. I can't hear it. I think that's what we saw on what on is Google it? too. In French, in French. That's Could what you said on Google. Could you? Oh, like yeah. Could you, could you, I like that. Then could she just sounded sexier. I like that. Wait, we might be able to do that. Could you? Could I like the could you? Could. She's like, yeah, okay, bye. Does that sound? Is that right? <laughs> Wait, does that sound right? Could you? Could. Could. Oh, can't, can't you know like some Haitian hey, hey, niggas gonna write us back and be like, that ain't it. <laughs> Bitch, well, no, Creole is different than French. It's like a broken French. So, don't let's not get started on this. <laughs> I was like, don't. Creole is a broken French. It's a dialect, Look, I would say more than French. Fuck all y'all, man. Fuck all y'all. Y'all just stay trying to try. I know, I know I'm right, nigga. My sister Haitian. I know I'm right. Thank My you. My sister's Haitian. My sister Haitian, nigga. I mean, it's sap passe, nigga. It's two languages mixed, ain't it? What? Creole. I mean, it's a broken... I Let mean, me they, look it up. Hold on. They're a French colony, so that's why it's... The same way, like, Patois... Oh, Louisiana and Gumbo keep like, coming like, up. Like, Patois, just... like, Patois is, like, still English, that's but so it's funny because like from... Like, Jamaica, Patois is still pretty much English. They I just fuck say so many, like... I love some New Orleans shit. You know that. That when I hear Creole, I think about, like, dudes from New Orleans. I don't even think about Haitians. Really? Yup. I be thinking about the food. You be thinking, be thinking about thinking base about... seasoning, ho. You ain't shit. Um, before we get into <laughs> oh, the kink babe. of the week, <laughs> I want to thank <laughs> our... We're not talking about crab legs, ho. Or gumbo. Are we not? What the fuck? I'm just... <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, I'm tired. Before... <laughs> <laughs> we really go talk? Before yeah. we uh, get into our uh, horrible decision for this week, we want to thank our sponsor, Purple Panties. By now, you guys should have heard that fucking podcast. It's super fucking dope. It's created by Zane. Um, if you don't know who Zane is, bitch, get your life. Or you must get be one of the 26 white people life. that listen to this show. Um, Purple Panties is a scripted erotic podcast. It's so fucking dope. Um, the production value on this show is through the roof. Like, I honestly feel like I'm listening to some BT shit. Like, for real. Like, I, I feel like, like BT made a podcast. Wait, like BT uncut, though. I gotta be uncut. You remember uncut? Oh yeah, it's definitely uncut. It's definitely uncut. Bro, like, the, the chick that plays the stud, her voice was so deep when she was like, "Oh, she was fucking my strap. I wish I felt that pussy." I was like, Ooh! 
That is one thing. I be wishing I could feel what it feel like inside when I got my pegger on. But oh, I, I see, see <laughs> Nah, but um, I'm really actually excited about this. We've shared quite a bit of podcasts with you guys, and I know y'all are always looking for new ones to add. Um, so this one um, is basically about the journey of three women in Atlanta, um, realizing that, you know, Things ain't always as black and white as we think it is when it comes to sex. Unless which it's is kind of like, it would be yeah, black it's really and white. us. Um, what? You it would be like us if we was on a podcast. You probably. didn't get my joke? No, I didn't. I missed it. You said things aren't really black and white. Oh, but we are. Oh, that was cute. Yeah, I Thanks. missed that. Um, <laughs> went over my head. Um, but, guys, <laughs> but guys, you can listen to Purple Panties now on Stitcher Premium. For a free month of Stitcher Premium, go to purplepanniespodcast.com and use promo code HORRIBLE. That's whore, I-B-L-E, W-H-O-R-E, I-B-L-E. Go ahead, get your free month of Stitcher Premium. Listen to this podcast. It's super dope. Um, like we mentioned before, they're like 30 minutes, but... Just know, just know, if you in the office, you're going to have to go to the bathroom and probably wipe your wet ass panties. It's legit something like, like people should pay for it. So yeah, y'all no. take advantage of this free shit. Yeah, no, it's, absolutely. It's good. And so because it's free from us, again, go to purplepanties.com, uh, purplepantiespodcast.com and use promo code HORRIBLE. So I'm going to actually be tuning into that goddamn shit and I'll keep y'all posted, but I ain't going to give no spoilers. Y'all got to tune into it and then maybe we'll talk about it together as a group. I just love how black it is. I really do. I do love it too. And I, I'm, I'm just excited because it's showing like women and like really finding themselves sexually. Yeah. And I'm excited to see... Um, the hottest man or listen to the hottest man being a woman goddamn but i feel like that's kind of like young ma or britney griner i think that's the hottest when, when shade room did fashion over men for young ma i was like oh that's fucked up listen <laughs> no nah, but it's not i told y'all like britney griner she's kind of like the hottest man that's a woman <laughs> no did you know that mouse did you listen to the ebay yeah, thought yeah, episode yeah no i that saw you said that they twins i'm not gonna lie i did unfollow her though why I'll, because like when i follow people i got a crush on i don't want to see you posting with your bitch God damn it. So I don't follow people when they get in relationships. Understood. You know what I mean? Brittany be all in love with her. And I'm like, damn, you're supposed to be for me, baby. I got to unfollow <laughs> that. I got to unfollow that shit. <laughs> um, act- well, speaking of. Um, <laughs> you see how shady this bitch is? Oh, shady ass. If you could do your perfect insecure threesome, MMF. Oh, perfect insecure threesome. Mine's going to be Daniel and Dr- Dro. So Daniel's Kendrick. That's his real name. Pretty eyes. No. That's oh Nathan. wait, that's um the Daniel's the the ex that used to be going back. Ooh, to. I'll take I'll take Andrew the Asian and fucking Daniel. You, look at you now. You are gonna come across like you and the Asian? You see, she's so phony. What do you I'll mean? Why you Asian. think I swiped this nigga right? Yeah, because dude. Molly really let me you know to open my phony. pussy up. I, I'll take the Asian. Bro, you this see is all not me being phony. Like, like, this is see, because she want to make sure she don't see like she fetishizing. I'll take the Asian on the insecure. <laughs> 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 My bad, bitch. Go ahead, um, pick the two lightest skin men, then you petty bitch. Yeah. <laughs> you know, wait, real quick. I got called out in the comments because I put the picture <laughs> of the th- like there was three niggas from Insecure. One was on, the light skin nigga. The other one was Dro, and who was the the middle one? Um, his name is Broderick. He's not on the show. Brod- He's a model. He's a model. So I said I'll take the two paper brown skin niggas on the side. These motherfuckers got all in my shit, and I'm just like. In this particular photo, Dog. I want the two light skin ones. They okay? are so <laughs> like. Let's not turn this into a colorist issue. Otherwise, I'll add colorist to AKA, and y'all can just suck my dick. It's okay? not that. It's I don't the, give a fuck. It's the verbiage paper bag that people didn't. <laughs> but like. that's that's the color I like. Like if I had a crayon I think, box, I think, I think, if I had a crayon box, them is the type of colors I would make. Paper bag brown. Ho. So okay, the paper bag thing came was... from the paper bag brown test. Apparently, that was made in the fucking nineteen. 19- I don't. Well, I, bitch, you be Googling when niggas yeah, come for bitch, you. when niggas come for me, I'll look it up. Like, bitch, okay. I, ain't, I ain't say test. And then they added test behind my word. I said, bitch, I ain't say test. I said good as hoe. <laughs> but um, if I can make to my To be perfect, fair. What? They are the cuter ones in the pic. They are. That's but, why I was like, the, the middle one. But the hottest one on the show to me is still Daniel. He did, He dark. I'll be honest with you. Issa's ex looked like he, even though he a producer or rapper, and I hate them type That's niggas. the one I'm talking about. Yes, that nigga. That's the one. He'll make he dark. He, oh, I just fuck. know the dick is rough. <laughs> Bruh, let Sorry. me tell you. You watching look, third season, right? You wait, remember when she was quick, like, and I audio got dark skin. I just want you to know we don't you you probably do fuck real rough. Like they just fuck. Oh, you know some of our listeners? Hey y'all, brother let underscore Christopher where, 
if you want a dark chocolate nigga, he here and he about six two, y'all. <laughs> and he about six two. God damn it. Cause you know that that actually was a funny thing. Everyone was saying Dro not even cute, he just tall. And I was like, that could be it. Actually, he, him being tall. <laughs> no, no, no. It's that, it's that game. He'd be like, Molly, what's up? When but he you, was eating that pussy, when she no, had the Hennessy you know bottle, crazy? I was with it. I be thinking about this, too, because um, his character is just so cool. I think that that's why we like him, too. He's a cool ass He make it seem like he a freaking in character, but I wonder if... Oh, because what you like, not going to do is talk about my wife. Oh, that shit got me wet. Bitch. And he's into, like, non-traditional type of shit. I'm yeah, like, it feels real. Hey, Dro. Um, I was going to say, the dark, <laughs> I think what com- comes from me with that, <clears throat> why I'm so attracted to dark-skinned men, is because I've always thought dark skin as a per- as a dark-skinned people, it's more regal to me. Right. When it's that blue-black, that dark, dark, dark. And it's just like, I get this thing in my mind, it's just like this superiority. And then I think of just like a nigga taking over me, like Shaka Zulu type shit. I mean, I don't want to make this... That's what I really I don't want to make this real mental health-ish, um, but... I kind of know why I don't like dark skinned men. And I think it's because of my my dislike for my dad so much. I literally like everything opposite of my dad. So like my dad is five seven on a good day. I don't like short niggas. My dad is dark as fuck. I might like him paper bag brown. He doesn't have to like I want everything that's not my dad. So like to me, just a tall man is a man. Every my dad to me ain't no man. So to me I don't wanna a guy that makes me think of my dad. I can get that because from my, and I think I talked about it, I actually talked about it on So Shameless. When I, my ex who was super- You abusive, lucky we got, um, we kind of made up. Cause bitch, I would have bleeped that shit. But you lucky, we, I'm cool with Tahoe. Well, I'm not even cool, but we cordial. That was nice. Yeah, but you're not going to be plug, just plugging niggas I'm not shit plugging on my shit, bitch. Girl, oh, okay, go ahead. So. <laughs> <laughs> we made up get a mouth and show. Right, but bitch. So we are shameless. all about positivity. Yeah, guys, if y'all are looking for another podcast, so check on the out episode, so I talked about how my therapist told me she thinks that I took a black man hiatus because I was physically abused, right? Like, my ex was awful. And she's like, I think it almost made you check out. So you just went from everything that was different. I did a Latino dude. Like, it just got random. Right. And she's <laughs> like, I think any black guy, like, you clearly associated that with him in a romantic way. You, it, got, it fucked your head up. Right. Um, and I don't know how true that is. You know what I mean? Like, I think for me in general, I was just like, I'm going to try something different because niggas ain't shit. And it turns out <laughs> none of them are. This is so. And this is very off topic. And it's crazy because we talk about preference, like, a lot and how it could be seen as a bad thing. Um and there's been men that I've been talking to just to try to get an understanding of this whole preference thing, like black men who want white women or the black men who were raised by black mothers and somehow don't like black women. It's, it's There's so much that goes into it psychologically that I don't think a lot of us even consider. Um, but like some some men growing up in the single parent households maybe weren't shown love how they would like to be shown love. Latinas are very catering. So when you see like different types of things, that's what you're attracted to because maybe it's not what you, th- th- there's a lot of things. I can deep understand that, that but I think there's one things. general it's reason. Not all of it. And but... I think it's just that beauty standards never look like black women. That's the truth. That Magazines, sense. everything that we see in mass media, straighter hair. That's changing though. It is changing. It's changing. Which is helping, but I do believe that that's why men in general, maybe even from early on stages, prefer light skin, right. good hair, like like that whole aesthetic, that thing being a thing, that's because of what we're shown. But not only that, I, I want I want it to that's also... That's why it's very important to make sure with your kids, like you have examples of black girls being beautiful. Girl, don't talk about this because when we get Gabrielle Union on the show, that's what I want to say. It's true. Uh, this is why Beyonce is so fucking Gabrielle. important, hey, though. Hey, Gabby. You have someone that's... What's the Or Gabby? Obama. Like, if you really take it a little bit deeper than that, even in yeah. this movie, Napoli Ever After... I haven't seen it yet. The, kid, I the guy in the movie. Reviews. It's Did all right. You? But it's, it's necessary. Right. Like, it talks okay. about how the guy doesn't want his daughter to wear weaves and he doesn't let his daughter uh, straighten her hair or perm her hair. You know, and it's so important. Like my mom did that to me as a kid, probably because she had that fucking complex. I my mean, mom- but I'll be honest with you, even um from of course I only deal with black men, and this is an issue that I have. I bitch, I don't know if y'all know, but this is so in bitch. And um a lot of black guys that I deal with, they say things that to me make me feel some type of way, but I've had black guys tell me, but you got good hair though. Why you got why you got that shit in your hair? Because of course, if you feel it, you're going to feel the braids underneath. And to me, that's something that I've never really appreciated that black men did because it's like, why, like, but you got good hair though? Like, I to me, that's something that I've genuinely never liked to have. Hair is such a sensitive topic, which is, is why I really like Napoli Ever After because like, 
For years, bro. Right? Remember I shaved my head on the side? It's so we hard to grow my bitch. head back. We did. Yeah, but Why did we do that? It's really hard for me to grow my hair back. My hair is like... My mom perms so much of my hair. They're like... So I don't do perms at all. I haven't done a perm in years. Just to try to get my hair back to what it used to be like. Like, right. even wearing weaves that aren't like all the way straight like anything i could do to just try to get what it's supposed to be but that's the thing it's like we're so fucking sensitive about that shit yeah and i always try to make sure that anybody i date just doesn't give a fuck about what's in my head like that's co- conversation like early on white boys black men yeah the black no, men be is. assuming this is my hair too it is speaking well, it, of by the oh. way i know we got all crazy we but the reason know. i asked you who you wanted to fuck in a mmf oh, wait, did i give you the, your answer the answer uh no so I would fuck, honestly, just because she loud mouth and I feel like she would be freaky, I would fuck Amanda Seals. No. You said MMF. Oh, wait, I got to be the F. Yeah. Oh, shit. So two two men. You know what? Honestly, I probably, oh, Lawrence, I'm sorry. His ass looks great yeah, when he's does. naked. So I would fuck, and he tall. I be seeing, wait, you know you can measure a guy when they go through a door? And I'm like, that nigga tall in real life. <laughs> so I really, I'll fuck Lawrence. And Dro? Nah, I'm Because I like me. tall niggas. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, give me drawing, Lauren. So I brought that up because the topic for this week is MMF threesomes. And I want to talk about a few things, right? You so petty. I want to dive into a lot of these You know things. I didn't even want to talk about it. No, 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 I'll no. admit it, though. I want to talk about why do we call them a train? Why do some men think that dick skin rubbing is gay? Things like that. How to ask for it. How to make sure that a man doesn't get insecure about it because women are always being asked for threesomes with another bitch. But we can't ask you to have a threesome with a nigga. And... I want to know if it's safer to do it with a friend or someone you don't Mm. know. Uh, Another thing that I want to talk about, I just have a few positions to do MMF threesomes in that could work out. But let's start with this. Why do we call them a train when a girl has a threesome with two men? Why? Because niggas ignorant. (sighs) That's really all it is because, I mean, what's crazy to me is I think they look at it differently because in in a maybe traditional MMF threesome, the men are not engaging with each other. In a threesome, you would assume that the girls are dealing with each other. So technically, they look at it like they are taking turns because they're not dealing with each other. So it's kind of not all three people are dealing with each other. It's us two are fucking you. I went on another podcast and the dude was like, that's a train. I said, why is it a train? He's like, because, I mean... Like, you doing that, like, she getting fucked by somebody else? I'm like, she getting fucked by someone else in threesome? He's like, yeah, but she getting fucked, fucked. I'm like, what? What's fucked, fucked? Like, dudes don't even know why they, they call don't. it. They, they don't, don't know, know why idea. they call bitches hoes. It's because they learned this fucking bullshit from other niggas. Like, she got a fucking train ran on her. Like, let me tell you, I really like Chrissy Monroe's episode you did. I wasn't in on it. But, she um, loves it. She talks about, like, how much she's, like, oh, my. It's, like, almost like she's worshipped, like, a fucking queen. Yeah. And I was, like, wow. Like, I don't even think of it like that, right? Like, two dudes, one's going down on you while you sucking another dick. And it's just, like, it's amazing. But not only that, as a woman, to be able to feel like you're still in control while you're with two men. It is liberating a little bit. Like, yeah. So, it's crazy because when we, when we first started this podcast, this was like one topic I told Weezy, bitch, I ain't telling the audience that shit. I it was not. This was. Uh, oh, it wasn't for me to. Oh, okay. Well, I've never done this, guys. So I, I brought it up <laughs> no. because the guests that we were supposed to have, I want to bang. Oh, I'm not going to lie. I totally want to bang them too. So but, I wanted um, to talk about that. So, well, I guess I'll go ahead since y'all don't probably guess it. So I've done this before. Um, and it's actually something that I enjoy these types of threesomes actually more than threesomes with women. Um, and I can't tell you why. I mean, not because you like dick more than pussy. I do like dick. A I don't. Whole I think lot. that's a pretty. And I do like dick a whole lot. Um, like I can't tell you why I like expensive restaurants. <laughs> Maybe because the food is better quality. <laughs> you know. Um. So to me, I think there's just. I mean, there's a stereotype with that. Uh, not a stereotype, but a stigma with the MMF threesome that we're probably our podcast ain't gonna be able to fucking change. Like niggas are gonna listen. Nah, bitch, that's a train. Yeah. Yeah. Um. When it comes to asking for it, I will say a lot of men have no shame at all in asking for a threesome. Probably every man that I talk to, that's like their dream, it's their goal. They'll niggas who I haven't fucked, can we bring a girl in? Like there's it's just easy for them to ask you to bring yep. another woman into the bedroom. Easily. So to me, when when guys maybe ask for a threesome, my way of you know, maybe sneaking in that I would be down for another man would be like, oh, a threesome with a guy or a girl. Oh. And kind of see their response to if they would be down to join. Because people just assume threesome is girl. 
They you know do. what else is, I think, is a big thing with that? It's like men have this idea of the sanctity of the women they're fucking that, like, another nigga can't touch you. And it almost, like, threatens their manhood. Even think about it. I remember when I talked about having a work boo, and the dude that I told that to didn't realize he was a man. He was like, oh, it's a dude? I was like, yeah. And it's like, when they met each other, they both had this, like, fucking... Super macho is. Yeah, bullshit. it was so uncomfortable. You know, it's just like two men in the office competing or two women in the office competing. It's almost like the same sex sometimes. Like women do it too in threesomes. I mean, I be I be using my pegger, so y'all think I like gay niggas anyways. But that is actually one of my fantasies is having a male male female threesome where everyone kind of plays, even if one guy just jacks the other one off or something so like that. So I wanted to ask our guest that I do because this, yeah. he's gay. And right. I heard that he fucks bitches. And so I wanted to know if he's ever done one because you know that's a ah, fantasy I have. That's mine too, But bitch. it's interesting because I want it with like, I want to be with like a gay couple that wants to but like see, try I, pussy. But I also, they would have to both be masculine. Like I notice even when I watch um, gay porn, I don't like seeing feminine gays with masks. Like I like two masks. Like, when they're together. So that would be another like dynamic that like I would trains. have to think with. Yeah, bitch, apparently. So do you remember uh, Sex and Did you know, do you know Sex and the City well? I'm asking. Yes, bitch, I do. I don't know if you've seen, have you seen every episode? We used to watch it together know, with but... Nets, bitch. In okay, your, In your fine. movie theater. Do you remember the household? episode where Samantha's about to have a threesome with two gays? See, you be calling it like, I, maybe. Okay. Maybe. So they brought her model to dinner. Model niggas. She always be fucking model niggas. No, it wasn't model They brought niggas. her to okay. dinner and they're like, we need to ask you something. She's like, what? And they're like, we're thinking about having a threesome. And we wanted to be with you. Yeah, you're so hot. And she's I like, I ooh. This. And we- so they they get in the bedroom. They start kissing. She has on this outfit. They're like, oh my God, she looks like Goldie Hawn and blah, 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 blah. <laughs> <It's like laughs> it was gay as fuck. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, so then they start like kissing her and then she's like pushing them down to her pussy. And they get up and they're like, ugh, this is not for me. <laughs> Never mind. Like, <laughs> So I was thinking, what if that happened to me with two gay niggas? And they were like, but see, I don't me, think I like pussy. To me, if, like, well, first off, I would never have a threesome with two gay guys who were not into pussy. Because then I feel like I'm not going to be pleased. I'm I'm to the point now where I'm, I'm talking about gay, gay. No, but that's what, but no, but I wouldn't have that threesome. I literally... So would you have sex with a gay couple that was bi? They would have to be bi. Okay. That's not gay gay. <laughs> That's half gay. Or... <laughs> I, don't, I mean, bi. By it's definition. Only, yeah, it's a half gay. You like, know, depending you on the like Kinsley put, scale. You know, you know, go ahead. Um, How do you feel about women asking for it do you think that it can make the man feel threatened like he's not oh absolutely enough? but them ain't the type of niggas i want to fuck with anyway because so women feel threatened quick. when they think another a dude wants i don't really feel threatened but to me like i get real especially a guy who i haven't fucked yet or one who i fucked once and maybe we only went one round. like i'll tell a nigga real quick what makes you think you can fuck two of us and you could barely fuck me. Like, no, like that's not gonna be the thing. Or yeah. to ask for a threesome before we've even encountered we've had sex together. No. To me, I like to deal with men who are very secure with their sexuality. So to me, it would have to be something to where even if you weren't for it or you weren't asking for it, you might be okay with it. How do you feel about um I guess how should a woman Ask a guy and what kind of like precursor can she give him? Bitch through text message. <laughs> if a nigga asks for a threesome, ask with a guy or a girl. And if he says with a girl, maybe dig deeper. Okay, well that sounds cool. Now, but would let's, you be let's into say there's a, a woman listening to this. Yes, she's been with her dude for let's say a year and a half. Oh, that's, that's already tough. I already I don't, I don't know. Right? Okay. And he can agree to it. How do they scout for the dick? Is it a friend? Do they go on Tinder? How do they find the guy? What do you think? First of- off, why are you acting like I'm the expert at this shit? <laughs> I feel I'm, like I'm supposed to have First an of all, bitch, we're not sex experts. We're talking we're not. this out. Um, so to me, how would you find a guy? Because so, I don't think it should be a friend because I think that's going to fuck his head You know up. what's crazy? So the the one that I had, he brought his best friend in. And his best friend ended up falling in love with me, child. It was all, it was a mess. Um, Remember that happened on Wendy Williams or some shit? Oh, well, it really happened. Like, even to the point where it's like, nigga, you're not supposed to like me. I you, I just fucked both of y'all. Like, and he literally like was like, I've never experienced. He was making me come, like to the point where my dude was like, 
what's going on? What are you doing to her? Because I was screaming, but he ain't know what was happening. But that nigga was making me squirt, and it was amazing. I ain't even going to hold you. But um, I think... Hold on. Th- the new dick was better than the old dick? Yeah, but... Was this? Yeah. Okay. But with him... Was I, that the only one you had? Girl, damn, you be asking all these questions. I ain't I ain't sharing all them details. Oh, I'm to talk about the one time. That's all you need to know, <laughs> God damn it. The one time. The one that I know. The one that you know. Just the one time. Um, But with that... With him, he actually is into it. He likes to watch me get fucked. Um, but I also think it's because sexually he knows I'm like, I have a sexual craving and I can keep going and he really can't. Like, he just likes me to suck his dick. He'll make my goddamn jaw go sore for a week before he really into fucking. Like, he, he really likes like head. That. He really likes fucking head. So, like, when it comes to sex, he busts really fast. So I think he knows. Maybe it's because it's condom pussy. Maybe he's tired of that. Maybe. Could be. Could be. Could be. But, I mean, I don't know. T- I was going to say something else, but it was just going to make me seem like even a bigger host. So I, wasn't gonna, I ain't going to say that. But um, <laughs> I, <laughs> I really just had to stop and pause. Like, let me not add that detail into it. Um, <laughs> did you know what it was going to be? Don't that, say it. Don't say I'm not, it. I'm, so, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not saying it. Was this the time when you were on edibles? Oh yeah, but oh, I remember well, yeah, that too, bitch. Um, he had to throw me in the goddamn. So I, I, I'm gonna be honest. I think if you're in a relationship, it is probably easier to do with someone you don't know, only because I think a lot of the issues surrounded around MMF threesomes in relationships are like the dude feeling a little threatened, and I feel like if it was a friend, maybe he couldn't trust you after or something like that. Oh, bitch, I know. Or maybe how, he could trust you. More. I know I how know. they could do it. How? Bitch, let your nigga listen to this episode, bitch. <laughs> and you just say, baby, I want you to listen to this shit. You could even fast forward to this part and be like, you hear what these girls talking about? What you think about that? I mean, and it's sexy. Like, I, see, I'm hard. really into watching somebody I'm with get fucked. Me too. Like, I told you I finally and had a threesome with somebody. And if you, you could be like, secure enough, then I'm, like, fuck it. No, I, I just think that a lot of guys have this, I don't know, vision that another nigga can't be in a, a bitch. Yeah. Um, so I think it would be harder to do it being in a relationship for the single ladies. I think it's real easy to find niggas to fuck you. Be like, you know what? You fine. Yep. But I saw on Instagram you got this friend. Um, I want both of y'all. And that's real easy. Them Damn, niggas that's kind of hot, bitch. You know, bitch. Let me look at my collection. <laughs> <laughs> um, Let me scroll through so your So here Instagram. are the positions that I found. So split, ro- spit, row slash Eiffel Tower. Okay, now this is basically. I really wish you had pictures, and we could have at least gave this, this to YouTube. But this is as we know it, though. Right. This is a chick bent over, sucking a dick, and getting fucked from behind, right? Okay. And so that, like, apparently the dudes can high five, and that's what makes it an Eiffel Tower. I think this is also something that I found on Cosmo, which is really why. Why does but this sound spit like roast is when it's shit. the other way around, when she's on her back and like the dick is dropping in her mouth and she's getting fucked. Now, there's also ways that you could have threesomes if you have the girth in your pussy. DV. Okay? Now, you could do you DP this? in the same would position, too. Would you try too. this? Yeah, they were two small dicks. You would take two small dicks in your pussy? They're what if they was like two... What about medium? Would you go medium, two medium dicks in your pussy? Or what about a large one and a small one? Like I think it's going gonna, gonna to slip out. The, which one? The little one? Actually, we talked about this at our Atlanta live show when the gay dude was like, yo, I be trying to... Take two dicks and his, and I can't work. And I was like, because it's too wet. One's got to be dry. One, you need some friction. Well, if both have condoms, that would solve is a little bit of friction. If both dicks have condoms oh, in there in your point. pussy, um, I don't know. To me, damn, I forget about that, man. I watch so much DV porn that would totally ruin it for me. What if both had condoms? I'd be like, eh. I ain't gonna lie. I'd be watching gay porn too, and I'd be like, oh, the condom just. <laughs> it doesn't it? I don't be wanting to watch porn with condoms. I'm just glad that they all get tested. I just really don't. Well, in like, Cali, I they can't do it anymore, it so that's why they be going to Miami and doing shit. I literally Google black, gay, raw. Like, those are the three words. <laughs> I, those are the three words I fucking... Black, gay, <laughs> raw. I mean, I want you guys to take a look at this shit, okay? And I want you guys to start looking at some of the porn. Tell us how you feel about it. If you've ever asked um, women... Your man for a threesome or a man. If you've asked your girl for that and she was like, what the fuck? You want another nigga to fuck me? You a bitch. Because girls could do that, too. I will. Are you just going to let that happen? I will also say, too, like when ladies, if you decide to have a um, male, male, female threesome, I'm going to give you guys just some little pointers. Um, It's very important that you still make your man the star. Um, mm. so it's very important to talk about boundaries. So like 
with the with the one that I had, like I wasn't gonna let the friend fuck me in the ass. And what I would do is, if he tried, I'd be like, "No, this is only for him," or like he likes to come in my mouth. The other nigga was not allowed to come in my mouth because no, my mouth is only for him. So like, still making a, a few boundaries for the other guy. Um, is actually really good and still makes your man feel like he's in charge. He's the one you want. It like you definitely don't want to go into it and do everything that you do with your man with this other guy that you have in the bedroom with you. If that makes any sense. Yeah, it does. You know I, mean? I think that's really important. Making the person you're with, especially in a threesome, that be this. This is a little more of a taboo. Threesome making that person feel important and letting them know you're there, so you're quote unquote number one. Like, bitch, don't come too hard. Right. So, home mail I found this is actually in my DM, and I never do DMs. Like, I just don't like... I'll skip them home mails because they get lost in yeah, the sauce. Yeah, they do. But I really like this one. Wheezy, I'm in dire need of advice. I'm 27 and I'm dating a woman who's 46. And I kind of just felt like, you're a cougar, so... What? She used to be my boss, <laughs> but I moved to a different location. And after years, I finally got a chance to date her. And I have very strong feelings for her. She came to my house one night for a massage that escalated into me giving her oral sex. While I did make her orgasm, a few days later, we talked about that night. And she said I had some... She had some construct constructive criticism and that my inexperience showed. <laughs> I never had this problem before and I really want this situation to work. I'm 19 years younger. I can't afford shit for shit like this to happen. Do you have any advice on this situation in general or about dating an older woman in general? Real quick, can I just... I, the reason why I laughed... <laughs> <laughs> because he put in the email, I made her orgasm. Nigga. You not getting constructive criticism from a bitch if you made her or niggas really be thinking they making us come and we not coming. Like niggas really be thinking they doing something. I really don't understand why she said I was inexperienced and I made her orgasm. No, you didn't, nigga. That's the first thing. So I you did make thing. her motherfucking orgasm, which is why she's telling you you ain't do what you was supposed to be doing. So I think she lied because she wanted to stop. Oh, she was probably like, oh, think- I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Because I'm not gonna lie. I told you the same way. When niggas start fucking me for too long, I be can, 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 ooh make that dick come, ooh make it bust. I be like, <laughs> nigga, make that come already, goddamn it. Me too. And it's not because I really want you to. It's because all right, I'm done. My pussy is kind of worn the fuck out, and so I will say that this is a thing that us niggas women know do. that shit too. They just don't care. I think y'all know right when we start saying, oh come for me, oh like I get real <laughs> animated. I, get real, I be like, oh. Oh, can you come in my mouth? Nigga might not be ready to come, but can you come in my mouth? That's where I want you to come. Oh, come. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking ready. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Me too. Shit. I be trying to say the nasty. I be trying to sound real nasty. <laughs> bitch. Listen, real quick. If a bitch just starts saying some off the wall, na- oh, I want you to come on my back. And they're like, like, if they just start talking real nasty and they wasn't talking nasty, it's niggas. Bro, speed let me it up. tell you where I said once and I made myself laugh. <laughs> I was so tired of getting fucked. I was like, ooh, come anywhere you want. I want you to pick a place. Pick a new place. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I said that shit, bro. Ooh, you can come wherever you want. Just Please. come. <laughs> just come. I'll take plan B if you just come already. Fuck. You want to come inside? <laughs> just. <laughs> no, but. I've I had a dude come inside me in a long time. No, I will but say. That's because I just don't have time for the No, abortion. I ain't got time for the fucking bullshit. But that's I will say. That's the truth. I don't have PTO for abortions. Only vacations. No, I'm I not don't. playing with this bullshit. No, you, did no. I tell you about the time I lied about an abortion? Did you? Did you share that? I definitely didn't. Wait, to I was get, still mo- working to for get money company. out of a nigga? No. I already had taken so much time off with my boss, but I really needed to go to. You lied to your boss to say you had to get an he, abortion. My boss was super chill. So this is my old company, right? <laughs> And I was like, this nigga is not going to believe me. Because I've told I've been honest about hangovers. I've been honest about shit. But I needed to go on vacation to get some dick. It was Loverboy. And I was like, fuck. How am I going to do this? How am I going to get a few days off? So I pulled him in the conference room. I'm like, hey, I need to talk to you. This <laughs> <laughs> is terrible that you're using I only using told this. the boys I did that. And they're really like, bitch, bad. how you lie about being pregnant? And I'm like, honestly, I don't know. So I, I was like, this is the only thing where it's like, he, A, has to be really sensitive because I'm a woman. Or he'll seem like a dick. And B, like, I could play super emotional if he just is a dick. Right. So I was like, I need to talk to you about something serious. Like, I'm pregnant. And I want you to understand. I'm not going to keep it. I really love my job. And he's like, whoa, 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 I don't want you to think about work. I was like, no, I I want to focus. This I is my year. My career. But I do need some time for myself. 
He was like, okay. And I'm like, I scheduled it. Just like my date for the ticket. I was like, I scheduled it on April 28th. So real quick. Um, and I'll probably need the weekend plus that Monday. Real quick. No, just <laughs> real quick. The fact that you so, you really ain't shit. Can I tell you my ain't shit thoughts real quick? Because I feel like you told me I'm going to hell one time. And I said, bitch, right after you, ho. This is one of those things where I feel like what you just said was so ain't shit that they ain't going to come for me. I had a great trip. Thought. I had a great trip. So I'll be real honest Didn't with have a you. pregnancy scare. I thought that was God. If, we, if we're getting into the, these pregnancy thoughts, I legit be thinking, so real quick, insurance or no insurance, abortion probably like 500 if you get it early. So I, I legit won't even think about fucking a nigga raw if I feel like he ain't got that money to give me. Because <laughs> so, then I'll be like, I know I got a job, but do I want to come out 500? No. Oh, so I'm like, <laughs> how hard is it going to be to ask this nigga for $500? Which is how I determine if he's ever worthy of raw dick, like raw pussy. And I'm just like, I know y'all be talking about me because I be talking about the brokies. But ladies, if you dealing with a nigga and you feel like you maybe don't want him to be your baby daddy, think about if he gonna have that five hundred dollars to give you. That's a good you. point. Because but you know what, I, I have to still say bad? I'm really tired of people being like, oh, why would you fuck someone raw that you wouldn't have a baby with? Because I'm not against abortion. That's why I'm I'm pro choice all and the way. Risk over reward. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, we probably sound like some Asian. We sound like some Democrats. That's fine. <laughs> I'm a centrist slash socialist. So. I want to say... Oh, you one of them other parties? Yeah. Oh. I want to say, I was watching... Uh, oh, no, I was talking to a friend of mine. Oh, this is so fucked up. So Wait, she, bitch, we giving she, them five extra minutes. All right, hold on. We she has a kid, right? Go ahead. And I went with her to an abortion before. Mm-hmm. And I was like, you know, what made you what made you have your kid this time? Like, whatever. And she was like, bitch, honestly, it would have been number three. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> She's like, and I just felt like if I gotta get one more, she's like, and you know, I love the baby to death, but if you I you know what's crazy, get another one. If I think about my friends, I have friends like that now. Like, I can't get any more abortions because I've already killed four, and I don't feel like I should be killing anymore. You? I no. I said I have friends oh. that have had four abortions. Damn! Look at the judgment in the room. Wait, wait y'all judging? Wait, no, I ain't had no. Four abortions. Well, one person did judge in the room, but it's cool. You know, y'all real judgy. Eyes got big and shit. How about I'm going to say this? You get one. Real quick. Boom. Real two. Quick. Bitch, you got to chill. Right Three, after, after two, you after need. Two, so at, all, after, all girls get two abortions? You say all girls get free passes I'm just for two saying, abortions. After two, you should be really many, taking precautions. How many passes y'all think, girls? Two abortions is cool. Do all of that shit. I'm not going to lie. The older we get, <laughs> so all of my friends Do now are in their shit. early 30s. And it's now to the point where it's like, bitch, I'm too old to be getting abortions. Search the web for how many abortions is too many. No, wait, bro, you're not doing this. Okay. I found this on the web for how many abortions has too many. Let's see. What I mean, really, what are they saying, though? <laughs> People have multiple abortions and stigmatizing them as counterproductive. I guess because they're using it as like a form of birth control. Yeah, I don't agree with that. 45% of abortion patients nationally report more than having one abortion. Wow, half. <sighs> Damn. 25-year-old vice president said she's... Her first pregnancy resulted from being sexually assaulted at a party. Okay, we got to have that. Then her bro- father threw her birth control away. Okay. The next time. Okay. Okay. I mean... Okay, so she had six. There was someone who had six? I'm counting it wrong. She was 36 now. Okay. 25 states restrict insurance coverage. 21 states restrict abortion coverage for people who get their insurance through the government. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. So I basically, if I'm broke, I really can't get an abortion? Yeah. I, I will say this, trip. just because I, I do like to drop stats, because I know, you know, I be saying some shit where y'all don't think I'm that smart. But I will say for the ladies who are um, considering abortion or who maybe have had abortion I uh, or had one or two, you know, or multiple abortions, I would say definitely to check with your gyno, because unfortunately, um, as women, when we do undergo that, it is still a surgery, but it it can fuck up your fertility. So even if you've only had one abortion, um, there is a possibility that you may not be able to have children. So I will sit here and say that I don't yeah. I don't believe that abortion should be used as a form of birth control because it is something that can affect you down, you know, down the road. Listen to so. this one. Researchers discovered that more than half, 54 percent of black women uh, reported having multiple abortions a higher percentage than white women and latinas Mm -hmm. this is likely due to the compounding negative effects of racism and sexism 
in black women's health, which is also reflected to unjust policies um, like the Hyde Amendment, which is an amendment that is attached as a rider to a federal budget every year that disproportionately denies health care to women of color. Of course. Community <clears throat> level abortion stigma also affects why black women across that how black women have access to abortion care. There's a stigma in the black community about being a single parent. There is. Yep. So more black women are likely to, to not want to be a quote to not unquote, be statistic. A single, yeah. That makes I didn't want to be a single mom with a lot of children. I had a baby once and I didn't want that to be my life. Wow. Can I also mention, and this could be stereotyping, but it's even just from what I'm hearing on Twitter and when I talk to, you know, all my black guy friends and guys I fuck, black men and women for whatever reason and this may be because we don't grow up going to the doctor all the time because our parents don't have health care and it's costly to take us I feel like there's a kind of idea of us being invincible I ain't gonna get pregnant I can't get pregnant the same way we might think man I ain't gonna catch nothing it's one of those things where we kind of don't think about it it's an afterthought and unfortunately I feel like that's I don't know if maybe it's thing. thinking you're invincible more than thinking of it comes from an educational standpoint. For and, sure, and yeah. Shit to, to, like, That's what I'm saying. If you don't go to, to the, shit, yeah. So if it's in your face to go to the doctor and get birth control, you're going to most likely do it if it's accessible. But if it doesn't feel right. like it's an option, it's not really in your mind or something you consider, right? Like education, sex education, like not... And kind of circles back to why we have a podcast. Black people in general are less likely to talk about, and I've read this, Oh, sex in their households. 1, so I don't know percent. that much about sex. I'm so mad. And we don't actually, talk about sex I enough. And I'm so mad I missed the question. I did want to speak to Naya about that because with her having a daughter, I wanted to know, you know, you proud of your whole phase. You proud of how do you have that conversation with your daughter? Would oh, you be okay with we your daughter have, doing it? We want to have on next has a daughter like, too. Yeah. So I definitely want to want to kind of have that like, conversation like how do we start having those conversations and at what age because I'm not gonna lie all the sex education in school just be abstinent don't have sex or you'll die don't have sex or you'll have a baby that don't work that don't work I mean I will I'm gonna I'll say get this my much. titties sucked in you know behind the gym I will tell a story that, oh, about yeah. a small story about when I had I oh, had we got time for stories oh we I had an abortion in high Bitches, school d- real quick do you know I had four hours of sleep last night all right we'll and leave you, but I want to uh, say like <laughs> I don't want you women to feel embarrassed at having an abortion, especially when you fuck up. Like, it was a total mistake. Mm-hmm. Turns out the nigga I was with was trash anyway. But the thing is, like, we can't blame women so much for abortion we that when open? it was a 50-50 deal. We, we being that open right now. Honestly. Okay, bitch, yep, I'd have had an abortion too, bitch. I'm so just trying to I feel. I guess we just admitting to, we be real open on this shit, You know bitch. why? Because I care. God damn. Every day as time goes on, I care less and less what people think. It's crazy. I, I think one of the, the biggest questions and after real you have an abortion shit happens. Too, I want to ask you, because this is one of the questions that I've been asked, even by my mom, is after the abortion, did you have regrets? I'm going to tell you why I didn't. I don't think I had regrets because I'm a realist, even though I was a fucking teenager. I was, I was 17. Maybe I was 18 when I had it, but I'm a realist and I know that I wasn't in the right mind frame and I wasn't Agreed. smart enough to take care of a kid. Um, I wasn't stable enough. Are you smart now? No. no <laughs> Bro, you put a baby in my hands. I'm like, is this going to shit out of its ass? Right. I don't- <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is, like, people feel so guilty about abortions when I... We know how many kids there are up for adoption. I don't want to bring the baby in this world that's going to be fucked up. Yeah, I know. Because I, I know I'm going to the club. So, bitch, I want to buy these shoes over some pamples. And I think that, like, I would be a really fucked up. I'm like, bro, the way that postpartum seems, like, with moms wanting to fucking suffocate their kids just to shut up, right. I would have been awful. Yeah. I, I, I just don't think I, I was mature I, enough. The same. I had one fairly young, um, under 18. and um, Were so, we friends when you did? I don't think we were friends. Yeah, bitch, we was, actually. Bitch, I got pregnant from the nigga we went to Tampa for. You had me with a fucking hood ass gangbanger. Wait, and wait, wait. Who? I'll tell you. You know who? Tampa? When we went to Tampa because he was fucking the rapper from MySpace and he had a show. Oh! Bitch. And then I felt trapped because he had a daughter currently. And when I told him I was doing it, he was like, You killing my son. Bitch, I'm three weeks. You don't know <laughs> I got a son yet. But he was convinced I was having his goddamn son. So I felt like he did that shit on purpose. Did he give you the money? Um. The nigga got locked up while it happened. Shut yes, up! bitch. Gang bangers. Nigga got locked up, bitch. I hooked you up with him. I'm not gonna say the name of it. I don't think I could say. His I'm not street gonna name. remember. It's a street. It's one of them names from Sesame Street. That was his street name. Yes, bitch. 
So Yo Yes so Didn't like, Rose wanna fuck him or some yeah, shit? Yeah, it was a whole bunch of shit. But oh um because he was like, good looking, God. he was a street nigga, like had guns he was and cuter shit. Than the nigga I was talking yeah, to. Yeah, but yeah, he wasn't I'm shit. Sorry he thought I that. had his goddamn son. You know it's your fault, bitch. You the reason <laughs> I had to get a fucking abortion, bringing me some fucking hood gang beggars in Tampa <laughs> hope. Um <laughs> Bitch, but, you let him not in you. I thought I was invincible. You know? <laughs> Did you do? For, what, I thought now, it wouldn't happen. Now, to when me. that happened, do you remember that moment? Thinking like, "Oh shit!" So it was very hard to tell my mom, bitch. I peed on a stick in a Walgreens because I just felt my body wasn't right. Like, and I literally was only like three. I felt it wasn't right. My period was maybe only one day late. I remember that those, feeling too. Yeah, but I felt like you know. Anytime what? I get a cramp, I think it I'm pregnant. It ain't now. right, bitch. It wasn't right. So I like went and peed on the stick in the Walgreens. This is when I was living in Atlanta. I went and peed on and bitch that shit came up so bitch I peed on the other one I said maybe this shit broken I ain't never <laughs> said one of these shit before I thought maybe that shit was broken um and when I saw it bitch I just burst into tears cause I didn't know how I was gonna tell my mama told my mama um my mama didn't have the money so bitch I actually had friends who helped me pay for it still friends to this day um Ooh. My friend, I'll, shout out Taylor. She brought me books during recovery type shit. And Aww. shout out Kita. She sent me money because she so actually dope. worked in the mall at the time. And she was like, girl, I got you. if your mom, Because my mom, my mom didn't have it. She was a single mom taking care of three kids. That's such a nice and, thing. Yeah, to so they, they helped me pay for it. And um, th- one of the things that my mom has asked me if I regret it, hell no. Bitch, I was like 11th grade or something like that. But not only that, it's... They give you a picture when you have it. I know. I remember this story. You were like, I didn't want to see it. So I took I the pill. It. I saw it, but it, it was, was one of the worst pains I've ever yeah. had in my life. What'd you do? Um, no, I think they. Surgical I want to say portion. they. Yeah, I think they went in there. Um, no, you'd remember the like, pill, bitch. Yeah, you, no, it you, wasn't the a pill. pill. Basically, forces you to mix miscarry. And you know what was crazy that day? Now I'm terrified to get pregnant because I was that whole day I was throwing up like crazy, and I was like, "Wow, I'm gonna get crazy more than sickness." Yeah, when I'm pregnant. it's crazy because um, I was just real like. Because they'll give you, what's it called? The monogram? Sonogram? What's sonogram? So, whatever. <laughs> they give you the sonogram. I don't want to get pregnant. I don't know this shit. Ooh. So they give it to you, and my mom was like, you know. At least you didn't say mammogram. Don't, what you know is, what that is? For cancer, right? Ah! Where? I mean, no shit. In your breast. <laughs> I know a little bit, bitch. Because my, my birthday is in Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Um, <laughs> October, I'm a Libra. Yes, I am. Birthday on Thursday. Um, but one of the things was when I saw it, I was like, oh, it's a dot. So I feel like I didn't kill a, a whole human being because it was only a well, dot. Well, I think that we have to also like take that feeling away of like killing something. We do. We I, do. Know, I don't know if People I... People like, have to make hard fucking life choices, choices, right? And I think that the big deal is a lot of, like, super conservative people think that you're being selfish by doing this. I'm not going to lie. But I, lied to, I was lying to myself the whole day. I think if you look it up, there's a heartbeat after 28 days. I was really counting down to the hours. I was like, what? Well, like 26 and a half. It wasn't even have a heartbeat. But this is the thing. Like, do you want to bring a baby in this world that you can't take care of? Do you want to bring a baby in this world for with a piece of shit dad? Do you want to bring this baby in this world yeah. where you're going to be angry? So if you I have was, to make a I hard was top decision of my like class. that. I was playing sports. I didn't have the money. I was working in the mall at Champs at the time. My mama damn sure didn't have the money to add to another baby. So it was a decision well, we that all, I don't regret. Ireland just made abortion legal. I know that the people were traveling out of there. There's so many women that have had unsafe abortions. And that's why it's so important to have rights on our own bodies, which is why Kavanaugh is so scary because Roe versus Wade and Pence. But I guess we won't get too deep because we're about to dip. We are about to dip. Wow, um, we talked about abortions, MMF threesomes. I really didn't think we were going to go be going this deep. This is kind of, I really, you done made me talk about two things I really didn't think I was going to talk about in this mic, goddamn. What are they I ain't never going to be able to lie to a nigga. You ever had an abortion? No. Bro, but there's this so many girls right, that I, I, like, no, I don't, don't know how you to feel about it or they feel guilty now. about their abortions and shit like that. Like, No, I, I, think it's, I think it's important as well just for men to hear us have this conversation too. Um, because I, I do think guilt shaming. Like, yeah, don't guilt shame a woman for making these decisions. Shame. There are a lot of reasons why we decide to do the things that we do to our bodies. Because whether it's we surgery, will, whether this it's is a 50 50 situation that you are able to leave with, and right. we can't. We have to carry that motherfucker. So and you ladies, can just dip. listen, girl, if he can't afford that 500, bitch, you better let him um, bring that three. Listen, let me tell y'all right now. Y'all in love with a nigga who ain't shit and you pregnant, bitch. Your fault. No, let me stop. Let me not do that. I give that way baby away so fast. <laughs> if abortion was talking about giving babies away now. I'm talking about like put it up for adoption. If I had an ancient nigga in my oh, life. Oh, fuck that. You going to suck this shit out of me. I'm not carrying something for nine months and then <laughs> giving it away. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I can't say. No, is that bad? Damn, we just. My bad. 
no, just fuck it. Said, fuck it. This is content. <laughs> Suck the shit out of me. Let's go. Let's make. Let's yeah, come no, out. I mean, what else you got? No, damn. Okay. Um. Damn. Did they? Were they still outside picketing? That was the one thing that fucked me up. No, they weren't picketing. I went to a really nice place in Atlanta. My homegirl, when I went to her to the abortion, right? She looked at me. She said, "Wheezy, I need you. look at me," because she already felt bad. It was the, it was the second one. I threw the third one. I can't remember. And she was like, "I need you to make sure they don't talk to me." I was like, "Okay." That's my only job. She's like, just make sure they don't say shit to me when we walk up there. And you did that? So we start walking up, and this old lady Ooh, just no. walks by, and she's like, can I just tell you that Jesus wanted me to let you know that he loves you? I was like, oh, shut the fuck up, Carol! <laughs> so then I walk outside, right, to go smoke a little weed. And she's like, excuse me. I'm like, ah, I'm here for a friend. She's like, I know. And you can turn it around. <laughs> I was like, well, she's broke, so can you? <laughs> <laughs> sure the fuck <laughs> Anyways, guys, thank you guys for tuning in. I want to give a huge shout out to our YouTube viewers. We will be bringing video back to y'all. Shout out um, Loudspeaker for making this happen again. Goddamn. Shout out for them keeping us here because we done went through the therapy episodes. Y'all are like, oh, my God, the content since you guys get along. It's just really good. Thanks, guys. Shut the fuck up, ho. Goddamn it. We bring y'all shit regardless if we fucking fight enough. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm starting to get really annoyed because this is so much work to, like, find guests, book guests. I mean, meetings. Right. Money. And people be... How come y'all don't? Blah, blah, blah. Why didn't you upload a cover art with the LSM logo? Why don't I you, did me, see me, that? Me. This, Shut the fuck be, up, dog, bitch. We do all this, bro. Like cheese therapy. We just talked about abortion. Suck my fucking dick from the honestly. back. Beach. Now I'm at the point the where I'm getting so bored with your bullshit. I'm just gonna block you for fun, my nigga. <laughs> I'm gonna cuss you out, screenshot your shit, and be like, everybody trash this hoe because she' about to make me skip a Monday episode. And then how you gonna feel? Fuck you. She said, I tell a Nordic. No lube, bitch. Like, unless you use Patreon and you contribute to this podcast, suck my dick. From the back, once again. Really, so, if you really, really want to like talk shit, from the back. pay $5. <laughs> you could talk shit to me if you put some money into paying the people that are in this fucking studio right now at fucking 10 30 at night on a goddamn Monday. When after I only had working. four hours of sleep because I had a fucking threesome last night and I'm tired. <laughs> I'm fucking tired. My body hurts. I rode dick. My exercise, bitch. I know that feeling. Bitch, I'm... I'm Why I'm, are we doing... We gotta go. You we gotta go. We Sorry, y'all. Go. Become patrons. Thank y'all, hoes. Um, this was not a planned episode because of fucking CP time having ass Andrew Schultz. So we gonna go ahead so and... So if you want to blame Andrew for not having Dustin from the friend zone... <laughs> bro, chill. We still gonna bring go Dustin Go on his over. fucking picture. Whatever the latest picture he has me like... Wait, dri- dripping? Hashtag... No, I don't know. No, Fuck no, it. Just yell at him. Bye. Okay, just... Bye.